Terrorist Task Force Agent Laura Jones. How are you doing today? Not well. I miss my friends in my home. Plus, I don't enjoy being treated like a criminal. How are you? Can't complain. Yes, you can. Excuse me? You said you can't complain. But you can. Okay. I guess I can't complain. But I refuse to. Why? Because complaining about the things that I don't like won't change anything. I'd rather shut up and do something about it. Thank you. For? For going beyond the empty shell of an answer to the question, how are you? Well, you're welcome. Do you want water or anything? That's very thoughtful, but I don't need you right now. Well, all right then. John Stevenson, AKA Spearman, born in October 1987 and believed by her followers to be the first awakened. What started off as a small cult-like movement blew up and as of today, Millions of people worldwide believe what you're preaching. Good for you. All right, John. I prefer if you address me as Spirit Man, please. My apologies, Spirit Man. I honestly don't care what you believe. You want to believe in conspiracies and control the masses? You go ahead. But when your followers start threatening some of the most powerful people in the world, there will be repercussions. I didn't threaten anyone. Why am I being detained? Because we want you to address your followers. Tell them that everything you've been telling them is a lie. And that there's no one at the top trying to control or subject them into doing anything. And why would I do that? Because they'll listen to you and they'll believe whatever you tell them. Also, because if you don't, we have the power to make your life very miserable. Are you threatening me? Listen, we all know everything you're talking about is nonsense. I truly pity the people who believe this crap. But this thing has got to stop before people start getting hurt. This might be fun for you, to be in the top of a group of lunatics. But there are too many unstable people out there, waiting for an opportunity like this, to act out on the pretext of a cause, and we can't allow that. But I'm not spreading lies. What I'm saying is the truth. And I can't help what some people will do with that truth. But their abuse the truth is not going to prevent me from saying it. Okay, you have to drop the act. I mean, seriously? A secret group of elite, wealthy, powerful people using the media to control the masses? How can you possibly believe that? The study and control of the human mind is not as hard as it seems. Our intelligence, sexual orientation, and much more can be simply computed by our social media likes. Machines, using the data as a digital footprint, understand us better than our family and friends. And soon, artificial intelligence will use this data to know us better than we know ourselves. I admire your commitment to your act, but you can't prove any of the things you claim. Oh yes, I can. And not just me. Millions of people worldwide can prove it also. You think the Awakened are my followers? When in reality, their eyes were opened just like mine. And now they can see for themselves the truth. They see through the lies of the system that is designed to reprogram us. I see now why you're their leader. 
Industries and corporations are spending billions of dollars to sell and capture our attention. Do you really think that's for nothing? So let me ask you a question. What do you think the end goal of this world mass control is? To use us as slaves? To do what? Use us to fuel their machine. What machine? The world. They want to use our lives as fuel for their vision of the world. Oh my god. Why do you think your husband bought you a diamond ring? What did you just say? See a mark on your left ring finger, which most likely means that you're married. I know that your husband bought you a diamond ring. Do you want to know why? Oh, please enlighten me. Because De Beers created an advertising campaign decades ago called A Diamond Is Forever, marketing the idea that diamonds were synonymous with the eternal love a man feels for his wife, therefore increasing the demand for supplying which they owned a monopoly, diamonds. Most of the things we want to own, wear, eat, and do are simply the result of a great marketing campaign, not personal choice. We are slowly being subjected to a pattern of life that profits a specific group of people. Either you accept our proposition or I can't guarantee you'll walk away from this a free man. The real prisons that keep us captives are not made of bars that we can see or touch. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery, Laura. <laughs>